What's on television? Imagine your body being buried while you're still in it. Imagine the horror. You'd struggle, but struggling only makes it worse. Imagine your whole life reduced to thinking about your next breath. Eventually, you'd welcome death. But an emphysema sufferer can go on living like this for years. If you smoke, death could be the least of your worries. Stop before the suffering starts. Authorized by the Australian government, Canberra. <laughs> I'm never smoking again. It was clear throughout our research that university students aged 18 to 25 responded well when the technique of shock was present in advertising. It was shown in this short video that when watching advertisement such as those produced by the Quit campaign in an effort to reduce the percentage of people who smoke, the shocking information given on the effects of smoking through a simple factual advertisement that plays with the viewer's fear of death, it was enough to convince the viewer to stop smoking. Therefore, the ad was successful in reaching its aim. This fictional video was a scenario based on the evidence found throughout our research. Research, we have found that ads that produce sexualization don't necessarily entice the viewer to buy the product, but ads that don't have a sexual connotation engage the consumer more and make them want to buy the product. This is all through information found in our self-documentation kits and surveys. The following two ads are advertisements for Cherry Ripe. The first one is an ad from just a few years ago that I find for the viewer produces sexualization as the tone of the voice speaking is whispering in a sexual tone and some of the words used to describe Cherry Ripe, such as caress, gives a sexual connotation and makes the audience feel that they are indulging in something naughty rather than just a simple chocolate bar. The following picture shows a reaction of someone watching the ad. It is a woman showing dissatisfaction for the ad and would most likely be turned off from the product and not buy it. In the following second advertisement, it is a much older ad than the first, but it shows a happy-go-lucky group of friends riding a bike with the same tune in the background saying, have a bit of fun, have a cherry ride. This describes that the bar is to enjoy and associated with having fun, whereas the first ad is seen to insinuate more sexual reasoning for having the chocolate bar. The music in the background was bright and cheery, and the man's voice that is speaking has a normal, sensible tone appropriate for the ad. The following picture after shows a family from the same era as the ad sitting down and enjoying what they are watching and gaining from the ad with their happy faces, which will more or less make them go out and buy the product and enjoy a cherry ride. Juicy cherries, oh so succulent, lightly caressed by rich, dark, decadent Cadbury chocolate. It's so right, it's almost wrong. Cherry ripe, oh yes. Oh, shut up, shut up. I remember this ad. It's so funny. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using my <laughs> scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat <laughs> with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. <laughs> the tickets are now diamond. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. <laughs> I should buy that for Scott. Oh no, please turn this off. Please. Oh, I hate this ad so much. I can't even stand watching it. The research that we conducted in the primary research assignment allowed us some insight into which techniques that are used in advertising regularly have the most impact on their audience. It was found from both the data collected in the self-documentation kits and the surveys that a vast majority of the 18 to 24 year old university students living in Melbourne, Australia that were involved in our study said that humorous advertisements were the most appealing to them. When we presented the participants with humorous advertisements con 
together with advertisements using different techniques, a vast majority of the participants were able to remember the comical ads over the others. Therefore, we have gained insight into this topic and have formed the opinion that advertisements that use technique of humour within them are likely to have a larger influence on their audience than advertisements that take other approaches.